It has been said that nothing ever goes away until it has taught us what we need to know. Wow. Well, I keep saying to myself that I want to learn the lessons quickly so all of this will go away. But it doesn't quite work that way, however. And we're required to have stamina to persevere and to keep our eyes open and to stay learning during this time. And you know, to do that, we have to open new windows. Open a new window, open a new door. Travel a new highway that's never been tried before. Before you find your adult person, punch the same clock, walk at the same tightrope as anyone on the block. The person you want to be is three dimensional, soaking up life down to your toes. You know, we need to build our mental strength just like we do our physical strength so that we can build to have emotional and mental stamina for life's challenges. To stay strong in the, in the face of adversity means to manage our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. We have to watch to not let fear and negative thinking take us down a negative spiral. We don't want to complain too much or throw ourselves a pity party, which can deflate our mental strength. It's about growing through the challenges that you're going through and managing one's energy. We need that energy to maintain our stamina. I will draw upon the teachings of John Kabat-Zinn on mindfulness and meditation. He describes stress as what happens when we want our present situation to be different than it is. Like you're stuck in traffic and you, you really don't want to be there, you're, you're afraid you're going to be late, you're getting angry, you're getting frustrated, rather than just accepting what's going on and continuing to move on with your day. He suggests that we befriend our mind. Wow, what a concept. That we become aware of our thoughts and visualize them like little soap bubbles and we can either pop them or just watch them float away. We often get caught up doing rather than being or wanting to accomplish or acquire rather than paying attention to our present mind, our present moment, which is really all that we have control over. If we're spending time thinking about or being concerned about the future and what it may bring or reliving the past and maybe even beating ourselves up for something that we've done, it really deprives us of being in the here and now which is really the only place that we do have control and that we can actually live. So become friends with your mind and your thoughts. He also suggests that we pour our energy into what is right with us versus what is wrong, regardless of how wrong we think we are. We are well beyond a short-term crisis response. We're in it for the long haul. Opportunity to truly make lifestyle changes are upon us. It's important that we actually find time and bring, find ways to bring small little joys into our life every day and be grateful for that joy. Yes, we need a little Christmas right this way. 
in a hurry, so climb down the chimney. Put up the brightest string of lights I've ever seen. Slice up the fruit cake. It's time we hung some tinsel on that other green bow. For we need a little music, need a little laughter. You know, that is great advice. After the chaotic year we've all been living through, we could use a little Christmas or something right about now. Our thanks to Springfield's powerhouse vocalist, Laurie Ann McCabe, and Springfield's busiest little elf, Doug Hahn, for that great rendition. We'd like to thank you for joining us for this episode of Seize the Day, and we encourage you to share it with your friends on social media. We also encourage you to tune in next time right here on Facebook or the Hoagland Center for the Arts website at hcfta.org. So until that time, we encourage you to go out there, be safe, be well, and most importantly, seize the day. <laughs>